Q126, all right. <clears throat> so far, it's been uh, one Q125 and 126. I like if I get the number, but that's okay. Well, just heard off the radio. Uh, Q126 is coming. I'm gonna keep an eye on him and find out if he's coming or not. All right. We made it. Been up to the bunch, going 60 miles an hour. Here he comes. He's engine number 3379. And the other one is 3474. This is Q126, uh, 27, I believe. I was about to get ready to go home until I just heard him blowing the horn, and I was like, oh, shoot, better catch up with him. This guy sure is in a hurry. The maximum speed in this location where I'm at right now is 50 miles an hour. So I'm lucky. <laughs> I love the 50 miles an hour. The time you see below is 2.52 a.m. Oh my gosh.
Alright guys, that was A743, heading northbound, uh, it's a, um, either a Kamek run or train coming from Augusta to Lithonia. I'm not sure which one and how it goes, but we'll see with the, when these uh, new symbols come through. Whatever it might be, it might be. I'm going to call it a Kamek run, because it's basically a local. It doesn't seem like he's stopping here, so he's got a really heavy load. So I think he's gonna be stopping at Lithonia. I think the reason why is because they closed down the Eamon Yard because of the hump. Ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> at least I got something. All right. All right, y'all. Just heard the dispatcher talking to the uh, Q125. Uh, looks like he's gonna he's gonna be very far from me. So we're gonna wait for him and see what we can catch. All right. I gotta be more careful next time. Woo! <laughs> he saw me. He saw me wave. And the next thing he just like blew the horn right next to my ears. Ow! Next time, when I come here, I'm gonna get me the earplugs. Oi!
All right, just heard another train, A742 heading southbound. So I'm gonna keep an eye on him in case he calls out the next signal. So let's check it out. All right, guys, we got a light. He's clear. We're gonna do our next chase on him. <laughs> 742, baby. Chase. The chase is on, baby. Let's go. That was A742, he was awesome. No trains coming, that's it. I decided not to chase the train. Just only a few, uh, just a few miles. That's all is needed. And I uh, had a pretty good chase with him. I was A742, I got the uh, trailer units and the lead units. That's all that matters. Um, I did find out that <clears throat> from CSX, they had the Q manifest train that came on the Georgia subdivision that's been abolished. 
you heard what I said. That's been abolished. So it kind of sucks that they abolished that. But um, nevertheless, A742, 43 comes through here. A727 and 28 comes through. Actually, A728, not 727. A728. Um, I'm still trying to figure out. I still don't know what the destination are for this A742 and A743. Um, I talked to Z and he told me that's uh, coming from Lithonia. So that's pretty much what comes through there. So I can't figure out exactly how far it goes. So one day I might visit Kamek and check it out for myself. All right. That was A742, folks. Glad you enjoyed that one. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, that was a uh, high rail. Uh, I heard him come down here on my line, so is that to catch him? Why not? I didn't know it was a high rail. Two to two three. Don't tell me he's a UP. If he's a UP now, I'm my day is made. If he's a UP. It's kinda hard to tell from the headlights, but on this camera, 
it's not that hard. If it's a UP, praise the Lord. It's a UP. Oh my goodness. I didn't film that, but dang! A first catch of the day at, at the end of the year of 2017, I caught my first Union Pacific! And it was a UP cold train! Oh my gosh! Oh, that was awesome! Am I filming? You bet! <laughs> my first UP catch! Oh, that was the best one ever. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, beat that. I mean, that was the, the most fantastic video ever. I caught it. First was the high rail, next was the UP. Best combination ever. That was just fantastic. I love it. I love it. I can't give up. <laughs> I can't give up this video, man. Oh, oh my word, that is just awesome, awesome shot ever, this was a blessing. A Union Pacific Jeebo just came right out by on my line? I did not expect that. That was so cool. Hey, at least the good news is I got the uh, radio recorded. I hope. I'm all hyped up. Oh my gosh, guys. I am all hyped up. What kind of sucks, it didn't record. No, it did! You can't see, can you? Hold on, just a second. Am I lucky or what? You can't see? Hold on. Let me get you all the seat. Good. Can you see it? 
<laughs> For the first time ever! <sighs> I've never been so hyperactive in my life! Look at this. I better write this down. It was 12 30 2017 at 16 23. That would be at 4. Right now it's 4 33 p.m. Oh my gosh, guys. UP! I heard him say UP and I was like, is that true? Union Pacific Jibo. Guys, I never thought that UP would come down here. Can you look at that? Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, I'm all excited, baby. I am all excited. Oh my goodness, what the heck did I just watch? I was afraid I did not get this recorded, but I did. It finally recorded exactly the train that I needed. Perfect! And of course, the cop came by, but he didn't do anything, so that's good. You know, because I wasn't doing anything dangerous. I kept myself in the distance. He saw me, what I was doing. Didn't even bother. That's what I like about these cops. Very, very friendly. I like it. Oh my gosh. If you guys have not come down to Georgia Subdivision, I wish I could tell y'all. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. Mm. Well, I hope to see you guys on the next CSX 257. Keep your eyes out. Might be another train. Peace out. <laughs> so excited. Alrighty then, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the CSX 257 New Year's special. I'm going to be honest with you. I did not expect to see the New Pacific 8720. <laughs> While I was recording it, I thought it was a Jeebo at first. I didn't get a good look at the locomotive. But I checked out the Union Pacific motor power and I saw 8720 and I thought it was a Jeebo but then it came out it turns out to be one of my favorite locomotives the SD70 ACE now that right there was exactly what I wanted to see but I did not expect the Union Pacific was going to, was going to come down through the Georgia subdivision I mean that was something I've never seen anything like that in my life I'm down here at Walmart, <laughs> just doing the video. I hope you guys enjoy the Christmas. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a great New Year. Because I sure have. Union Pacific 8720. 8720. Can you beat that? That's... I'm going to be honest with you. I've never seen a Union Pacific or a BNSF here on the Georgia Subdivision. Never have. And that was actually my first. <laughs> I was hyped up. And I was a bit foaming, but I kept myself under control. <laughs> but I was hyperactive. I was like going crazy. So, yeah. I had a great time. I hope you guys did too. Started to keep it a mystery locomotive, but I wanted to let it in so the surprise. Z found, already knew what it was. <laughs> Slacker, that's why I said no. <laughs> But I did show him the picture of what the locomotive looked like, and I told him to, to not say a word. Wait till I have the video uploaded. <laughs> so I told him, just stay put. <laughs> Don't say anything. But he knew what kind of locomotive it was when I told him it was a coal train. He was like, oh, it must be a UP. So yeah, it was a UP. <laughs> so that was fantastic. I hope to see another UP with two engines. Maybe I might get a chance to see the UP heritage units. You never know. But that would be something if I were seeing maybe the Katy or Rio Grande or Southern Pacific. Anything could be. You never know. All right, guys, I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And tell your friends. Tell your friends about this channel. The more the merrier. <laughs> Y'all have a very happy new year. And I'll see you guys on the next CSX 2057. This is CSX 2057. Over and out.